video I'm going to break down the progressions of plank. I find that the plank is a common exercise that many people like to do, so it's important to understand the alignment techniques within it. So you're gonna begin on your belly, and we'll start with the, the kind of the lowest level plank. So for this one, we're gonna begin on our forearms. You can interlock your fingers. Make sure your elbows are directly under your shoulders for this. Legs are extended out long. We're gonna keep the forearms and the knees on the floor for this first variation. You're gonna to begin to activate your deep abdominal muscles, your transverse abdominis to lift your spine, your belly off the floor. From this position, do a little bit of anterior posterior tilting so you can feel the extremes. You don't wanna be here in a strong posterior tilt because it gets too much rounding in the lower back. You don't wanna be here in an anterior tilt because there's too much arch. So we wanna find that place where your clock face is parallel to the floor. From that position, draw your abdominal wall up and draw your chin away from the floor. So the chin retracts away from the floor and the crown of the head extends outward. You wanna feel as if the crown of the head is reaching one way, tailbone reaching in the other. So you're continuing to elongate your spine. From this position, if you wanted to take it a step further, you can begin by extending one leg here. Continue to keep your abs in. As you make a progression, you don't wanna drop the spine. That tells me you're not ready for that progression. So from here, we could go to both legs straight. Once you're able to master this position, then we can go back to straight arm plank. Hands come to the floor, knees to the floor, same idea. Find your extremes with the pelvis, and then find the place in the middle where your clock face is parallel to the floor. Retract your chin and nose away from the floor, extending out through the crown of your head, reach out through your tailbone, Again, master this progression for about a minute before you make the progression to straight legs. And for this, again, you can extend one leg at a time, holding here, okay, when you're ready, both legs extend up, reaching out through the crown of the head, the chin and nose retract away from the floor. I stretch out through my heels and my tailbone, pulling the abdominal wall strongly away from the floor. Once you're ready with this position, you can progress to a push-up. So for the push-up, we go back to the knees at first, find that long spine, core activated, just like you did in your plank. We're gonna take the hands a little bit wider. From here, keeping the chin retracting, spine long, I'm gonna to begin to bend my elbows to lower my chest down towards the floor. Continue to keep your abs in, spine long, don't let your head drop. Retract your chin and nose away from the floor and continue to elongate. From here, you push all the way back up, fully straightening your elbows. So see that again, I elongate my spine, bend my elbows to lower down without letting my head drop. Keep the chin and nose retracted, push away from the floor. When you can do, say a set of 15 of those, no problem. You can progress to a full push up, leg straight. Find that nice long spine again, activate your abs, to draw your spine into position. We bend the elbows, continue to elongate the spine and push back up.